As we highlight those cells, they are outlined and their cell addresses are written into the sum function's variables area. Although each cell's address doesn't appear, that's okay. It won't affect the function's ability to perform the correct calculation. A marquee surrounds the selected cells called a cell range. Basically, they are a group of cells that excel and, in this instance, the sum function treats as a whole. What you see in the variables area is the address for that cell range. The start and end of the cell range is separated by a colon in the body of the formula. A function formula has three parts, all of which are shown here. First is the equal sign. It tells Excel that a formula is being used. Second is the name of the function, sum in this case. And finally, a list of arguments. Arguments are the variables in a function formula that tell Excel which cells will be used in the function's calculations. That list of variables is always enclosed by parentheses. To complete the function, type a closed parenthesis. Upon typing the right parenthesis, the marquee surrounding the cells becomes a box with solid lines. Press Enter. And there's another zero indicating our formula for total expenses has been entered into the cell.